Vroom, vroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're like, vroom. <laughs> and the plane becomes a metaphor for my life. And all the things I have and have not done. Convenient excuse based on the plane. It came to pass in his 21st year. On the end of a long bender, the alcohol and the cocaine and the heroin were in equilibrium and synthesized a moment of clarity. And he was aware, for the first time in days, he was aware of where he was and what he was doing. And where he was was in an apartment he did not recognize. With his cock buried in a woman he also did not recognize. And staring him straight in the face was a man you guessed it, whom he did not recognize with his cock buried in the other end of the woman. <laughs> and in that synthesized moment of clarity, he felt genuine, not synthesized, genuine shame for what his life had become. And the awkwardness silenced the room from the wet and gleeful sounds of moments before. <laughs> and in that awkward silence, he tried to redeem his mental state with a joke. <laughs> so he looked back into the eyes of the man he did not recognize and stuck out his arms wide. <laughs> and he said, look at me, I'm a plane. <laughs> And then the fog of chemistry enveloped him. He was not aware of himself for many hours when he awoke on the street, sitting on what remained of his clothes. And he thought to himself, I gotta get my shit together. <laughs> Don't you know it's my art when I 